Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second video, uh, second remote learning video that you have for, for the school year. Uh, so one of the things that I noticed last year during our remote learning period in the spring was I, I did get a lot more emails than normal from, from students. And a lot of them were just like, hey, sir, blah, 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 and then didn't put a name or uh, didn't introduce themselves. And sometimes when your email comes in, I, I don't know who it's from. So I wanted to go through and just take a quick a uh, couple moments to, to talk about emails. What, what does a professional email look like? Um, you know, and, and hopefully at, at some point, especially those of you that uh, don't know me so well, um, you're, you're looking at it like, all right, well, I know Mr. Serbino, so I'm able to talk to him in a different way. But an email should be a little bit more personal. All right. So first thing that's on the email list here is contact and, and greet that person properly. So you want to say like, dear Mr. Serbino, or good morning, Mr. Serbino, something like that. So uh, it, it makes me actually want to read the email. All right. Uh, next, introduce yourself. So uh, make sure that you are telling me who you are. Uh, use not just your first name, but also your last name, because some of you have the same first names. Uh, what would be even helpful would be if you put your email address, uh, not your email address, the, the period class that you have. So you could say like, you know, good morning, Mr. Serbino. This is you know, Joe Schmo from period two's algebra two class. Um, and then make sure that when you're asking what you're ever you're asking me for, uh, be polite. A lot of times the emails that I get as a teacher are requesting something that you are supposed to be denied, like extra time for an assignment or extra help or something like that. You are asking me to do you a favor. So be polite about it. Right. Um, Next is, you know, in general, teachers do get lots of emails. You could probably see in the, the my, my toolbox up here, I have 61 unread emails right now. Uh, so make sure that uh, get to the point quickly. Tell me what's going on or what you need from me uh, and, and make sure that uh, you're friendly about it, right? <clears throat> Last and probably most important, please make sure you proofread your email. Uh, remember, you are sending this to an adult that's in the building, so make sure that there are uh, no grammar or spelling mistakes, uh, especially grammar or spelling mistakes that might be construed in the wrong way, like a, a bad word or something like that by accident. So just proofread your email before you send it to me. And for your remote assignment for today, what I'm going to have you do is just write me a sample email using some of these um, etiquette guidelines that I posted here um, and just kind of introduce yourself to me, right? Especially for those of you that don't know me or I don't know you, you know, tell me something about yourself that's interesting, uh, you know, something that you did over the summer, what are some of your plans, pretty much anything you want to share here. It doesn't have to be overly long. Uh, if you have lots to say, let it be as long as you want. There's no restriction here. Uh, just make sure that you are uh, you know, greeting me, introducing yourself, telling me what period you're in, uh, and then telling me something about yourself. And that is a good assignment. All right. So again, make sure these assignments are done properly and on time. Uh, I do have everything set up so you know what your due dates are and everything. So make sure you're checking that into Google Classroom. And I will see you soon.